congratulations, all the Pulaski Rams graduates. Congratulations, graduates.
My name is Hannah Schrader, and I'll be reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Today I stand here honored to be able to speak for the 2020 graduating class of Pulaski High School. As your principal, I have been graced with being able to follow you throughout your high school career and watch you flourish into the young women and men that you are today. And although we may not be physically present with one another, you will forever be in the hearts of Pulaski staff. I want you to remember that you are Pulaski Rams and just like the Dodge Ram, you are Ram tough. You were built for moments like this. Life is preparing you for the obstacles 
that will surely come, but you will make it because you are Pulaski Rams. Whatever storms, twists and turns may come your way, just remind yourself that you are the class of 2020. And just like you made it through this, you will make it through that. For some of you, that will be college. For others, it will be the military. For some, it will be going directly into the workforce. And for others, you may still be trying to figure it out. But whatever it may be, you will make it. Why? Because you are the class of 2020. You will forever be a part of history. When they ask, what year did you graduate? And you say 2020, everyone will remember. So as we honor you today, I want to say I thank you. Thank you for doing the work to show who you are. Today, you will take your place among Pulaski alumni who have secured almost $1.5 million in scholarship and still counting. The students who did the work to show the world that Pulaski is worthy of becoming an IB school and the class who will forever go down in history with a bang. I challenge you as I have challenged many graduates before you to show up and show out. Don't just choose the easy path, but choose the one that will give you the greatest satisfaction. Be the one who stands out in the crowd. Be the one who makes a difference. Be the one who dances to the beat of his or her own drum. For amongst you are doctors, lawyers, educators, politicians, and so much more. You have shown your creative flow and brilliant minds when you can listen to a song one time and recite it word for word when I am still trying to figure out what the artist is saying. You even showed your creativity each morning when you tried to get your cell phones into the school building by making cell phone sandwiches and cell phone shoes. So I know there's more to come. And I believe it's through your brilliant minds that a cure for all the world diseases lies. I believe you have the answer within you. So on this day, it is never goodbye, but see you later. Class of 2020, I salute you and wish you well. Hello, Milwaukee Public Schools Class of 2020. I'm Dr. Keith P. Posley, the proud superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools, and I'm delighted to share a message with you as we participate in this special occasion. None of us would have ever guessed that we would be in this unique position today, a virtual graduation. No other class of students have been faced with a situation that this group of young people endured. You have been faced with completing your K-12 education during an unprecedented times. Even though you have experienced an abrupt school closure during the final year, I congratulate you for having the courage and fortitude to finish strong. But because of this unusual circumstance, you and your classmates are truly a special class. Your ability to stand tall during the changes and your drive to complete your education is commendable. The class of 2020 is more resilient, talented, and resourceful and more prepared than other high school class for enduring this public health crisis. I am confident and inspired by the way you all have leaned in and advocated. You all have called me, emailed me, as well as other members of the district. So that shows me that you have courage and know how to speak up for yourself. Remember that the education that you have received cannot be taken away from you. It will only open doors. The world is ready for you. You will make a difference creating a strong future. As you move forward confidently, 
in the next steps of your journey, I want to encourage you to never forget your years as an MPS student, as an MPS graduate, and to share your gifts with others and remain lifelong learners. Embrace your learning and continue to move forward with your studies. To our parents, guardians, family members, friends, community members, special guests, and staff, thank you for standing with our young people, supporting them and never giving up on them along this journey. As the superintendent of the Milwaukee Public Schools, I am proud of your accomplishments. I celebrate your college acceptance, scholarship awards, military acceptance, and post-secondary career offers. Congratulations, graduates. We're expecting great things from you. Stay positive during these challenging times. Even though this is your last chapter in high school, you will always be the first. You make me truly MPS proud. I salute the class of 2020. Good morning, class of 2020. My name is Adrian Manuntag. I hope this speech finds everyone in good health. It's been a long four years of high school, especially with everything going on these days. I hope everyone is at home following the 20 second rule for washing your hands. And if you go out, remember to keep a safe distance and wear masks. It's unfortunate that this year ended so abruptly. And I know many of us haven't said our goodbyes yet. However, just remember that everything that's happening with the quarantine is for the benefit of everyone. We may not fully understand it, and I know many seniors are upset that this graduation ceremony is online, but it's better than not having anything at all. We should think with positive mindsets that at the very least, we have means of technology such as this to be able to unite one last time. Now with all that out of the way, I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate everyone. Everyone had varying efforts to reach this point, but what is important is that you've made it this far. I know there were times that we struggled with working class. There were times that we disagreed with each other. I remember times where I lashed out in anger. Remember that we are all human and are prone to making mistakes. However, we should not see our flaws and feel apathetic moving through life. On the other hand, we should still remember to not get complacent and always strive to be a better version of ourselves every passing day. Think of these times as stepping stones to enhance your life. Every negative emotion or experience that we face is another opportunity to grow. Every time we think through difficult situations and make the most principled decisions, we should be proud of ourselves. Everyone is going down their own paths. Some of us are walking while others are running. No matter how fast or slow your pace is, it's important to be moving at all times. And most of all, do your best to never go backwards. Don't see yourself for who you were, but for who you can be if you stand up straight and stay on this road ahead of you. Remember to thank your family and friends. Thank whoever or whatever you believe in for getting you this far. Don't be arrogant and feel as if everything you've done is because of your abilities. Remember those who have guided you talked to you when you were anxious or sad, and those who gave you everything that you needed to reach this point in your life. And finally, I want to see everyone be successful in the future, no matter how you define success. I know everyone has so much potential. Just remember that potential inherently entails growth, and only those willing to reach out for it will find themselves to be truly successful. Good evening, everyone. My name is Umar Salma. Thanks to all my family, teachers, and friends. They are helping me a lot and supporting me to become a good person and educate. Today is my special day and I am so happy. I learned many things and my future. I can teach someone who does not speak English or something else. I didn't think I could come to America to learn and got to learn 
go to school until finish high school and get my diploma. I am so lucky. I am par- part of it. Congratulations to all my friends who were invited today. Congratulations, ceremony. Today, I am so proud of myself that I never speak English and I and can give a speech in front of everyone that I never imagined before about this opportunity. If I was in my own country, I don't think I could get this much education and get an opportunity to speak in front of everyone. I am so thankful to all my teachers who give me the opportunity to speak in front of everyone today. I feel so blessed and grateful. Thanks to, thank you and congratulations to everyone. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, I just want to take a moment to congratulate you on all your hard work that's gotten you to this momentous day. Now, I know this isn't the high school graduation ceremony that any of you envisioned as you studied hard for your exams, stayed up late working on projects, and dedicated your time and energy to extracurriculars and enriching your community. But that doesn't mean that your efforts are any less worthy of recognition. In fact, this virtual ceremony demonstrates just how much all of you had to go through to get here today and how much you deserve this honor. We all know that graduating from high school can already be a challenge, and all you had to do it during a literal pandemic. Having to miss your prom, your final seasons of sports, your last band and choir concerts, these are important moments that none of you should have had to sacrifice. Not to mention the daily challenges of staying home and not being able to see your friends, or having to share screens with your siblings or your parents for school. And I know that some of you had to face even more serious troubles as a result of the pandemic's impact on our healthcare system and on our economy. You all have had to grow up much faster than any other generation. But with each day you stayed home, you've endured these challenges. You haven't just kept your family and your community safer, you've become stronger and more resilient too. And as an NPS graduate and a Milwaukee native, you've made me incredibly proud to represent you and to represent our entire community. You all are doing your part to get us out of this crisis and getting us to a time where we can all hang out with each other once again in person or go out to eat at our favorite restaurants and hug our grandparents and all the others you've had to remain physically distant from. So congratulations once again, seniors. After all you've been through in the last couple months, I know you'll be able to take on any challenge that comes your way. And I look forward to witnessing the change that you all bring as you continue to shape our future. Thank you so much and congratulations. Hi, my name is Dr. Jeanette Kowalik and I'm the Commissioner of Health for the City of Milwaukee. I'm also an NPS graduate. I graduated from John Marshall High School in 1997. So um, I want to just thank you all for uh, just the continued support. Again, thank you for the opportunity uh, for Uh, being here and to be able to just acknowledge all the great work that has happened. Uh, Class of 2020, you definitely are the two MVPs. Uh, You are um, definitely representing a time period where the world has really, really paused and some people would say fallen apart. But because of the time period that we're in, this is an opportunity for you all to lead and to really uh, change how we're moving through society. This is a very important time. Uh, With that being said, I just want to give you a couple of points of inspiration uh, moving forward from this point in time. So first of all, please realize that your graduating during a pandemic is a sign of greatness, tenacity, and courage. Uh, For you all to have to go through this and you're still able to maintain, you're holding your head high, and you're using uh, technology to uh, do creative things to still uh, communicate with other people, as well as really make a name for yourself and figure it out. So the next is time away. So sometimes you need time away from the distractions of regular life. So kicking it, going out, um, actually going to class, what are you gonna wear? How are you presenting yourself? 
There's a lot that goes into being out and about. During this pandemic, uh, since there's no school, you've had the ability to learn from home, but it also gives you the time to be still and really figure out who you are and how do you wanna present yourself. So that reflection time is very valuable. Most people don't have that. Most people are living someone else's life, living other people's expectations for them, whether it's their family, whether it's their community, um, other social groups, church, you name it. So figuring out who are you and what is your authentic expression of who you are and doing that now. So again, using this pandemic time to really figure out who you are and how you wanna express yourself and what type of career you wanna have for yourself, what brings you joy, what sparks that, that passion in you, and then pursue that. Whatever sparks joy in you, uh, that follow that. That's a sign that you're, you're getting closer to where you need to be in life. Again, look for opportunities to lead, even if it's in your household, if it's in your community. When you see a problem needs to be fixed, it's easy to gripe and complain about it, but what are you doing to make it better? You know, How can you say, I helped fix that problem? Really think about that in your approach and how you're investing energy in the various situations. So in closing, I just want to, again, acknowledge you all for uh, graduating during a pandemic and you will be, the, you are the chosen ones. You are the true MVPs and the rest of us will continue to support you because remember, we're starting a new decade. So you're going to change the tide of how things are done for years to come. So again, congratulations and thank you for the opportunity to address the class of 2020. MPS graduating class of 2020. It is truly an honor for me to be here today speaking to you. Uh, I know it's not necessarily how you thought your graduation would look or what you dreamed it up to be, but that doesn't take anything away from what you've accomplished. You should be extremely proud of that diploma that you're holding in your hand, virtual or not, you have earned it and nobody can take that away from you. Uh, it's a thrill for me to be here. I grew up just down the road in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, I spent many days at County Stadium watching the Brewers play, at the Bradley Center watching the Bucks and the Admirals play. Uh, and I'm sure many of you right now are looking at me like, what's County Stadium? Uh, which makes me feel very old, but uh, it's a great place that the Brewers used to play and Bernie used to slide down into a massive keg of beer. Um, that's neither here nor there. That's just me going down memory lane. And I'm sure your parents know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, back to why I'm here today. I'm here to celebrate you guys. I'm here to celebrate your graduation, everything that you've accomplished, and also hopefully give you a bit of advice as you head into the next chapter of your life. And I'm not here to take up too much of your time. I know that you've had Zoom meetings, Zoom classes, Zoom everything uh, for the last few months. So the last thing you wanna do is sit here and listen to me talk, but I'm gonna try and hopefully give you a little bit of advice that can help you as you move on. Uh, you've just accomplished something great. You've gone through the whole school system, you went and graduated high school, and you've done something to make yourself and your families extremely proud. Don't move on to the next step without taking a second to acknowledge that. Pat yourself on the back a little bit and be proud of yourself. You've just done something great. You should take a second to be proud of that. And then once you're done with that, whether it's tonight, tomorrow, the next day, ask yourself what's next. Maybe you're headed off to college. Maybe you're headed off into the workforce. Whatever it may be, you're headed into a brand new chapter of your life. And the most beautiful part about that is you get to decide what that chapter looks like. You're the person holding the pen that's going to write your story in that next four or five years. What does that look like for you? How are you going to make it as great as you can possibly make it? Ever since high school, I've had a motto that I've lived my life by. Dream big, work hard. My parents have always tried to instill in me that you can do anything you want in this world as long as you have big enough dreams and you're willing to put in the time, effort, and energy to make those dreams a reality. Um, that's what I encourage you guys to do as you head into that next chapter. I encourage you to have big dreams. Whatever you want to do, whether it's sports, whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, whether you want to be a teacher, whether you want to inspire the next generation, whether you want to do charitable work, whatever it is that you want to do, I encourage you to dream as big as you can possibly dream. Don't ever let anybody tell you that your dreams are not realistic. When I was in middle school, we had to write a paper on what we wanted to be when we were growing up. I wrote, I want to be an NFL player. The teacher wrote back that my paper was good, but asked me to maybe create some more realistic dreams. Well, 
I am in the NFL. So that came true. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to go on to be an NFL player or whatever it is, but I want you to believe in yourself that much. And I want you to have dreams that big because the only way you can accomplish them is if at first you think of them and you believe in them. The second part of accomplishing those big dreams is the hard work. You have to be willing to put in the time, the effort. You have to be willing to make the sacrifices. You can do great things, but it's going to be hard. Nobody ever said it's going to be easy, and I'm definitely not here to tell you it's going to be easy. Whatever your goal is, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to accomplish, you're going to have to put in a lot of time, effort, and energy. You know, the old saying, nothing worth having comes easy. It's true. I mean, it's just a fact. You have to go out there and you have to do the work. And you have a chance. You have your whole life in front of you. You just graduated from high school and you can literally go out into the world and become whoever you want to be. It's a beautiful place to be. I'm excited for you. I'm jealous of you. You're sitting in an incredible position. And I'm just, I'm, you can sense the excitement. I'm giddy for you because I'm excited to see what you're going to go out there and accomplish in this world. And I know your families are just as excited. Your friends are there to help you, support you, and push you in the right direction. And I guess that would be my last message to you as well. Help each other out. Push each other to be even better than you are now. Because nobody can do it alone. It's going to take many people to make your dreams come true. And the more people you have supporting you, believing in you, and pushing you, the better off you're going to be. You guys have just accomplished something great, and you're off to do even greater things in the future. I thank you for letting me speak to you today, and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish in the future. So take a second, be proud, enjoy it, take it all in, and then ask yourself, what's next? What's up, everybody? It's Gavon Looney here from the Gold State Warriors and Hamilton High School alumni. First of all, I just want to congratulate the class of 2020 for doing something special. I know during these tough times where guys got, people got to stay at home, you guys got to learn online and, and can't be around your friends every day and, and um, it just not be able to be at school all the time. It's been tough on everybody, but you guys did something special by graduating. You know, this is a moment that you will remember for the rest of your life. Uh, I want you to, to, to celebrate today and, and enjoy this moment, you know. Talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, enjoy all the things and go down memory lane and, and just treat this day so really special. You know, uh, I remember my high school graduation is one of the biggest accomplishments of my life, something I worked all my life for, my parents are really proud of. And, you know, uh, it was really special to me. And I had a lot of opportunities to go to different schools out of state and do a lot of different things, but it was big for me to be able to walk across stage and, and be part of an MPS graduation and have my parents be there and have my family be there. and and be able to celebrate something special. So I just want to, uh, again, congratulate this class of 2020 for doing something amazing and, uh, you know, enjoy this moment, you know. I know uh, you guys are probably worried about what's next, you know, where you're going to go to college and what's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. But take today, take this moment to celebrate. Thank your teachers, thank your, your parents, and uh, and just enjoy this moment. You know, I can't say that enough that this is gonna be probably one of your best memories of your life. You know, when you go, when you get older and you're gonna be talking about the things you used to do in high school and all the friends you had, all the, the, the classes you had, all the lunch period times, or all those talks with your friends that, you know, that's gonna last a lifetime. You know, uh, enjoy this, enjoy your, enjoy the company of your fellow classmates. Y'all did this together. Y'all a special group of people and I, I know you guys are gonna be the next leaders of the, of the world. So, you know, enjoy your day and um, stay safe out here. You know, it's tough times for everybody, but you guys are, are the next leaders of this world, and I just want to continue to congratulate you guys on being great. And 2020, you guys did it. Ahmed Abdi. Salimo Abdi. Yaya Abdi. Isaac Acosta. Jacob Edricula. Abdi Kadir Ahmed. Adlik Ala. Marlene Andrade. Jalil Arms Beeman. Dominique Atkinson. Jeremiah Baez.
Sequoia Bachelor. Margita B. Heaven Bradley. Xavier Broomfield. Desmond Brown. Jay Butler. Oriana Carroll. Evan Carter Thompson. Super Castile. Julian Castillo Galviz. Andrea Contreras. Carmen Correa Munoz. Javier Cruz. Joan Cruz Reyes. Brandon Damon. Donovan Davis. Caroline de los Santos Garcia. Trayvon Delishment. Shahid Dalheed. Acavius Diaz. Aaron Edwards. Artavion Erkins. Alan Esparza. Carlos Estrada. Pierre Figueroa Feliciano. Terrell Finley. Anitra Ford. Isaiah Fowler. Tamara Franco. Anselmo Garcia. Asia Giles. Jacqueline Gonzalez. Marie Angeli Gonzalez. Danielle Grant. Marta Guevara Medina. Jalen Hardwick. Freddie Harris. Nathaniel Harris. Yasmin Hassan. Geraria Hassan. Altumo Hassan. Anthony Herring. Christian Hoskins. Shaylin Howard. Iwa Tu. Nawa Tu. Ha Tabli Tu. Antonio Isguerra Ramirez. Isaiah Ivory. Jamal Jackson. Dashiana Johnson. Naoshi Johnson. Ariana Jones. Kirsten Jones. Nashiana Jordan. Deontay Lawson. Apilask Lumba. 
Miguel Lopez. Amos Perez. Sandy Lozano. Susu Ma. Russell Adrian Manantag. Ashley Candelario Martinez. Carlos Martinez. Aliana Marquez. Shatima McFarlane. Muhammad. Muhammad Ali. Kaiser Muhammad Rafiq. Abdi Aziz. Liana Liz Morales. Luis Morales. Amy Morales Ramos. Paul Mangunya. Dakota Newer. Abate Nelson. Ryan Nielsen. Laura Nieto. Noor Fatima Noor Bashar. Umar Selma Noor Ali. Nimio U. Gabriel Ortiz. Jorge Ortiz Lavoy. Otero Desiree Pacala Juan Pachico Kineisha Palermo Quiles Elier Patricio Ramirez Jasmine Perez Mary Elizabeth Perez Lopez. Richard Pichardo. Joshua Preston. Eduardo Pulido. Camu Ra. Zarina Ramatula. Abigail Ramírez Reyes. Lauri Ramos Antúñez. Cuban B. Ramzan Ali. Ha Ri. Jada Richardson. Leonardo Rico Olvera. Christopher Rivera. Emanuel Rivera Alicea. Tamaya Robinson. Cicladis Rodriguez. Nayeli Rodriguez Román. Yadriel Román Medina. Jessica Rosales. Jason Rosario. Juan Sanchez. Sebastian Sanchez. Carlos Sanchez Saldívar. Nayeli Sanchez Terran. 
J. Sanchez Villegas. Ivana Sanders. Nicole Santos Reyes. Anna Schroeder. Beishi So. Brian Soto Ramos. E. Amina Sulimankel. B.B. Sadika Sulimankel. Mohammed Sarat Bashar. Uk Thong. Asia Thomas. Oriana Townsend. Alia Valentine. Edwin Varela. Marco Vega. David Vera Gamboa. Vardeen. Vegas Vong. Tu Tre Wa. Deontay Wilkes. Corey Williams. Jeltuan Williams. Minyata Willis Smith. Daquisha Wilson. Rahman Zahid. Graduates, please stand. Turn your tassels from right to left. By the authority vested in me, by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, the Milwaukee Board of School Directors, and by the Superintendent of the Milwaukee Public Schools, I now declare you official graduates of the Milwaukee Public Schools. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Pulaski Class of 2020.